Hello everyone on LesterBanks.com, this is Daniel Brodeski here and welcome to this quick tip. So recently I was digging through my old experiments and came across this video at which we are going to take a look now. And I wondered if there is any way that I can simply make it a bit more interesting and dramatic. So let's take a look at the video. And what I failed to do is an impressive ending to this video. It simply fades into black. Not a very interesting way to end this video. So let's take a look at how it looks now. So as you can see everything looks exactly the same but the ending of the video we have some dark areas which are swallowing our whole composition and not a simple fade into black. So it looks like kind of clouds that are coming in front of our camera and I think that it is a nicer way to end this video. Basically the background is this fractal pre layer and if I solo it you can see that it has only the CC glass effect added to it. If I enable the CC glass effect you can see I have a fractal noise over here and if I enter this precomposition I can see the fractal noise and I have a ramp background and the fractal noise layer is being overlaid onto this background. It is set to progressive dynamic and I inverted the noise. And I also set the noise type to be spline and animated the evolution together with some other options over here. So that's basically how I created the background and I use this background layer to be my map for the fading out effect. So to create this fade out I used the effect which is called gradient wipe and it is in the transition category. I can't recall seeing it being in use in any tutorial and that's a pity, that's a very nice effect. It is in the transition category and it is very easy to control. In the gradient layer I selected my fractal precomposition and the gradient placement is on default set to stretch gradient to fit. I didn't invert the gradient or anything, just increased the transition softness so it is not all the rough. because if I decrease the transition softness that's basically a black chunk over here so it was set to 38% to soften everything out and I animated the transition completion from 100% to 0% and I achieved this very nice transition look. I tried this effect out with the Fractal Noise 3D a plugin which can be found on ascripts.com and it works very nicely with it as well. You just add this effect to your fading out layer and make sure that the layer is black so your whole composition is fading into black or if you want it to fade into any other color just change the color of the solid accordingly so basically that's all that's a very simple element you can add to your next animation which you want to make dramatic and I hope it helps you if you have any questions about this tutorial please let me know in the comments down below I'm Daniel Brodeski for LesterBanks.com. Check out the other videos and quick tips we have on this site. And hopefully we'll see you next time.